Mr. Churchill has arrived, sir. Thank you. I feel very uneasy about this. People say he's unreliable. Is that true? Impulsive, sir, might be a kinder word. If only it could have been Lord Halifax, he would have made the most perfect prime minister. Perfect. At 4.35 this morning, Hitler's troops invaded Holland and Belgium. And the Luftwaffe has been bombing airfields all across Holland, northern France. Panzer divisions are moving through Luxembourg towards the Belgian frontier. Our troops and the French are marching north to block the German advance. How many of our men? You know, all of them. The entire army. It's extraordinary coincidence. Hitler attacking the West and you becoming Prime Minister all on the same day. Could be coincidence, sir. Could be destiny. What happens if we fail to stop Hitler in Belgium? One must assume we'll go for France. Just 21 miles. Is that enough to save us? I feel I must assure you, sir, that if you wish me to hand over my responsibilities to some other person, I would feel in many ways it is the right and proper thing to do. If you're a twine to offer your resignation, please don't. I'd be awfully glad if you didn't. The people need you, Winston. Perhaps, sir. Perhaps not. Of course they do. So do I. No. No, you'll just have to buckle down and, and what's your phrase? Keep, um, um, buggering on. That's right, sir. KBO. Of course, the loss of Singapore came as a dreadful shock. They hadn't expected it to fall so quickly. None of us did, sir. If our army can't fight any better than this, we shall lose the empire. Thank you, sir. Situation in the North Atlantic is even more worrying. Admiral Dönitz and his U-boats are wreaking havoc. Unless we can find a way of protecting our supply convoys, we'll be starved to death. KBO, Winston. KBO, sir. Prime Minister, would you like to come this way? Thank you for coming to see me at such short notice. But I, I made an important um, uh, decision, and I want you to arrange things for me. Of course, sir. What can I do? I think it's only right that I, as king, should go to France with our invading force. You, you mean... Uh... On, on, on D-Day, with the first wave of troops. I shall travel on one of our landing craft with the men. I'm sorry, sir, but that's impossible. Why? Mm -hmm would almost certainly be killed. And I have a replacement, Winston. You do not. So let's hear no more about it, hmm? 